Right, today we're looking at Biography Reference Bank. This is a EBSCOhost tool, so if you're familiar with their search interface, you can hop right in. If you're not familiar with it, it's pretty easy, so pretty much anybody can use this. It's intended for mainly K-12, through um, but you could also use this too if you're just trying to get a basic idea um, of a person and kind of what they've accomplished and what they've done, what they're known for. Um, so it has coverage of over 750,000 different individuals. Um, 90,000 of those have full text articles linked to them um, uh, with their biography or biographical information. Um, it also has links to uh, periodicals, interviews, all types of stuff for the individuals that it covers. So let's get started here from Ohio Web Library. Um, users will be able to log in from home from their library cards. Um, since I am at Oakland right now, I should be able to just go into Homework Help and then click Biography Reference Bank to get started. So from this home page, the easiest thing to do is just to type in the, uh, the person that you're looking for. Um, I would recommend using quotation marks if you know exactly how to spell the person's name. That way it's looking for a phrase, like the like both the words combined to create that person's name rather than each of them separately, which could give you some funky results. So we're going to search for LeBron James here. And you can see at the top I have this uh, this entry that's labeled biography. You can see the item type underneath it. Um, but there's also tons and tons of these other ones too that are related to him that are either from periodicals. Um, you see a lot of these reviews. There's an academic journal here. So tons and tons of uh, different supplemental information that you can pull from. Um, I want to limit this so we're just getting uh, biographical results. So on the left hand side here, uh, I'm going to click names with biographies. So that limits me down to just one entry. Okay. Now if we were to take that off, there are a bunch of other things that we can play around with here uh, to kind of find different sources of supplemental information about this subject. So you can see here the source types, we can pull open subjects. If we want a specific publication, like let's say we need an article in Sports Illustrated, we could do that. We can even do publisher, and for some subjects we also can find content in other languages. But let's go back to that biographic, biographical entry. All right, so we're going to click here on LeBron. And the first time I used this, um, I was kind of looking for the information to pop up right here at the bottom. Uh, unfortunately, it doesn't. So basically, this is just the record. But we can get to that, that actual biography um, by clicking under Related Biographies right here. So as we click that, we can scroll down. We can see we have a pretty lengthy um, biography here about LeBron James. And another nice thing is it will actually update over time, depending on the individual. So you can see when the most uh, recent revision was, and pretty recently, about two months ago for us. So we have some other options here too. On the right hand side, um, this will be familiar to those of you that have used EBSCO host tools before. Um, I can print, I can add to a personal folder. If your classroom or your uh, patron's classroom is linked to uh, Google Classroom, they can sync this with their Google Drive. Other users can also do that with their personal Google Drives too, so that's a really cool feature. Um, we can email directly to somebody. Um, we can pull a citation in a bunch of different formats. In fact, check this out. So not only do we have APA, MLA, and all the standard ones, we also have a slew of other ones just in case. Okay. Um, we can create a permalink, which is really useful if we need to reference this for somebody else. Um, we can also share via social media. And then here's two really cool features, especially for the K-12 through crowd. Um, let's say uh, the text might be a little bit complicated for like a second grader, but they still want to hear the information. They still want to understand what they can from it. Then click listen, and it'll actually read the article for them. So that's a cool feature. And lastly, we can actually translate this into a bunch of different languages, too. All right, so on the left-hand side here, um, we can also see a bunch of different information that's related to this subject, so that's a really quick way to hop to different results. Um, there's just a tons of different ways for you to pull information that you need about the subjects that you're looking for. So that is Biography Reference Bank. Uh, thank you for listening.